try to catch me hollering at the moon. Round three of the 2022 season has taken us to Peach Smash, a track that we have not been to in many years. For the AM race, the track was perfect. All of the water dried up from Friday's rain, leaving a challenging track with deep ruts and exposed roots. The track featured a little bit of everything, such as multiple creek crossings, a hill climb, and plenty of tight single track throughout the woods. Looking to come back and retake his position on the podium is Scott Harwell after missing the first two races. Well, with Patrick Tobin out supporting his son Carter at the KTM Junior Supercross program this weekend, Scott's competition would be David James and Jet Leatherwood. It seems before the race, the guys up front were plotting to gang up on the youngster. Meanwhile, Jet Leatherwood is looking to get himself another win. So far on the season, David James has been Mr. Consistent. Unfortunately for him, it's been consistently second place. So today, he's looking to get his first win of the year. When the green flag dropped, David James gets a good start off the line, but even faster than him is Robert Whitlock and Brian Jones. As they blast into the woods, Robert Whitlock would be your whole shot winner. David James would waste no time working his way up into first place with Carlos Lozano and Scott Harwell right on his heels. Back in the third row in B Masters class, there would be a tight battle with four of the riders finishing within one minute of each other at Deerhaven. In the end, Mitch Norris would beat Keith O'Toole by just one second for second place. Despite the tough competition, Joey Nelson has been able to get the win at both races so far. Keith O'Toole would get out early on the first lap after catching Danny Ashcroft, who got the whole shot. However, right behind him and looking to gain some ground is Joey Nelson and Anthony Reed. Keith O'Toole would lead the race until he ran into some issues on the fourth lap that would drop him back into fourth place. The battle between Joey Nelson and Anthony Reed was tight, with Nelson never being more than 15 seconds behind. And going into the final lap, it was just a six second gap between them. Joey Nelson manages to get past Anthony Reed and win the race, but only by one half of a second, extending his win streak to three. On the sixth row in C Two Stroke Light, another intense battle for first place between Zachary Freeman and Austin Pearson. Zachary Freeman got first in class at Deerhaven and second at Harris Bridge, 
while Peterson managed to get fourth at Deerhaven and first at Harris Bridge, with both riders looking to get the win today. Austin Pearson got out to an early lead after getting the hole shot with Zachary Freeman fighting to catch up after being seventh place going into the woods. Freeman would make up 50 seconds on the third lap, allowing him to catch up to Pearson on the fourth. He would get the pass done, taking first place and hold it for the rest of the race, securing himself the win and the points lead by just three points. Back in the front, the battle was fierce between David James and Scott Harwell, finishing the first lap only two seconds apart. However, on the second lap, Scott would take a wrong turn, putting him back into fourth place. He would be able to race hard and get himself all the way back up into second place before being caught by Ron Awad. Despite being into the woods 10th from the start, he would end up making a mid-race charge. Ultimately, on the final lap, catching up to Scott Harwell, passing him and beating him by five seconds to take that final podium's position. From the beginning of the race, Jet Leather would be laying down some super fast lap times, catching up to David James and passing him based upon time. However, towards the end of the race, a scary moment would happen as a nasty crash would take Jet Leatherwood down to the ground. You good, dude? It seems as if he knocked himself unconscious for a few seconds. As you just heard, the kid's got guts and courage, not to mention the heart of a champion. He would jump back on his bike, blazing off after losing about 30 seconds on the lap. Albeit a little shaken up, Jet would be able to ride out the rest of the race, securing the victory. Meanwhile, David James' second place streak continues. Round 4 is taking us back to Strange's Ranch, one of the highlight tracks of the Mid-East season. Last year we visited Strange's Ranch twice, so many riders will know the track well. It features tight wooded single track and big wide open straightaways. The real question is, next week will David James, Scott Horwell, Patrick Tobin, or Ron Awad be able to stop the youngster Jet Leatherwood? Join us next week at Strange's Ranch to find out, and if there are any other stories you think we should cover, let us know down in the comment section below. Thank you all for joining us at Peach Smash, and we look forward to seeing you at Strange's Ranch.